continuing to support the Women in Leadership Forum hosted by the Hotel Council of San Francisco. We are thrilled and delighted to host this program for you, our members. This isn't just about women's rights and sexual harassment. It's really an opportunity for all of us to look around and decide what we want our future to look like. We're all here in the room today because we want our careers to be successful. You want to lead successful teams. How do we become more successful leaders to then in turn lead successful businesses? It's really incumbent upon us if we want to see greater parity that we live that, right? That we make a commitment in our lives. It's really important for us to think specifically about the pipeline that we're leaving and are we preparing other women to take our role. You're faced with the path that your gut is telling you to go with and then you're faced with the safe path where you can just plod along, follow your gut, take a risk. If we are going to be able to advance our careers, we need to have men as allies. And we all know that there are so many men, many of whom are in this room today, and certainly on our panel, who are our allies. We have 1,400 people, 26 offices. We're focused on pay equity, and that is something that we try to deal with. And certainly try to look within our own stature and see where we can get everybody aligned. I think the foundation of creating policy is the intent to build trust in your organization where people can come forward and be able to say, this is working or this isn't working. And we want to be a disruptor. We want to do things differently. I hope you take the opportunity to meet the people who are at your table and the people who are at this event because you really never know what these connections will do and how they will help you to grow. How do we ensure that women are on a level playing field with equal opportunities for advancement within all of our companies? I take any opportunity to talk to any of my female coworkers, remind them um, that you can do it because I did it. And how can I be of assistance to you? What do you need to get to the next level? We look at our employee base and we say, hey, for our leadership and our management, we want by 2020 that that number reflects our employee base or exceeds it. And I think once you have that clear number in mind, that it holds everyone accountable. Otherwise, what's not seen, what's not talked about, is it done. Going in that path of finding resolution and solutions. What, what do you think the right. industry needs to do? In general, everywhere, I think change needs to come from the top. This stuff isn't just good for women. This is good for everyone and it's good for your business because diverse teams have better results, are more innovative, more creative, make more money. I don't know how much more motivation we need. I think everyone's open to having the conversation, but whether there will be real change, that's what really matters and, and yeah. that remains to be seen. Many would say the current environment amplifies our efforts. Women's voices are being heard and their concerns addressed in almost every industry. Work cultures are changing for the better. And the changes benefit not just women, it benefits all employees and in fact the bottom line.